been more than a year since Activision announced that it'll be bringing the Guitar Hero franchise to the Nintendo DS, which means it's been more than a year of speculation by gamers wondering how on earth the Guitar Hero franchise could be translated to portable. In late June, you're going to find out for yourself. But before you get to try it, Activision's given us the chance to play around with the game a month before release. And I have to say, Guitar Hero DS has turned out awesomely. Packaged with every copy of the game is the guitar grip. Red Octane developed this add-on to mimic the guitar we all know and love. The differences are obvious as you can see. Smaller buttons and four buttons instead of five. The guitar grip is incredibly well constructed. It's got a storage compartment for the stylus pick, as well as a velcro wrist strap that can be tightened or loosened. It can also be customized with artwork. Just pop the unit open and replace the slip of plastic with your own construction. Easy. The guitar grip snaps into the Game Boy Advance port of the DS Lite, and with the included adapter, the original Nintendo DS as well. So now that you've popped the guitar grip into your system, all you have to do is slip your hand into the wrist strap, start the game, and go. <laughs> guitar Hero on Tour plays exactly like the console games. Play a set of songs by strumming in time to the notes cruising down the screen, all the while pressing buttons that correspond to the notes. Believe it or not, strumming on the screen is incredibly responsive. Using the stylus pick, you can strum in any direction you want, anywhere on the touch screen. It also recognizes rapid fire back forth strumming, and to whammy notes you just scribble on the screen, and it doesn't even have to be over the whammy bar image either. When you fill up your star power, you activate it by yelling or blowing into the system. Woo! Guitar Hero on Tour will have 25 songs in its library, from Block Party to Kiss to ZZ Top, and 20 of these songs will be unique to the Nintendo DS version. It will have a mix of actual master recordings as well as cover band tracks. The music certainly compressed to fit on a DS cartridge, but the audio sounds great on the handheld. And the visuals are nothing to scoff at either. You might not notice everything that's going on, but the 3D venues and band members animate fluidly with dynamic cameras playing behind the Note highway. As you progress through the game, you'll earn money which can then be used to purchase clothing and guitars for your on-screen character. Single player is great, but on tour also supports local multiplayer against the second player. You can play co-op or compete against each other. In the duels, you'll earn power-ups to attack the other player with awesome effects. The competition gets tight when you set the other player's guitar on fire, or even blow his amp. Guitar Hero on Tour ships in late June for $49.99, and so far it looks like it'll be worth every penny. Get ready to rock out on the Nintendo DS in just a few short weeks.